क्लास एट वेलकम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर एट कंप्यूटर एथिक्स क्राइम एंड सिक्योरिटी इन दिस सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट इंक्लूड्स प्राइवेसी प्राइवेसी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ इट इज वेरी wrong to uh, get inside the privacy of other people without the consent of that particular person we should not disturb their privacy now in computer world also if you are given the permission to access somebody's computer say for example if i give you the permission to use my computer then if you view uh, all the documents and all the uh, you know Uh, confidential documents confidential data in my computer you should not disclose to other people it's a very very bad habit so privacy becomes a very very important aspect of life in the field of computer also now let us go to another topic and that is the crime that is done in the field of computer we generally call it uh, cyber crime or uh, computer crime crime also is another term there are other fields uh, apart from computer there are so many different kinds of crimes but there are crimes being done in the field of computer also computer crime results from the deliberate tampering with data and information now whenever somebody is cra- committing a crime in the field of uh, computer then that is considered as a um, cyber crime and that is done by uh, you know tampering the data that means destroying the data that is in the computer so it is one of the biggest uh, threat to the modern society uh, we are always in uh, different kinds of uh, you know we are always in different kinds of uh, process of uh, uh, um, online shopping where we use all the different kinds of confidential data the banking uh, information the usernames and the password credit card cvv number so we are always in a uh, threat of the cyber crime we should be very very careful with this kind of crime now there are so many different people who are uh, associated with uh, who are associated with this kind of crimes they are often uh, considered as uh, hackers number 1 uh, there are people who are called as hackers there are people who are called as crackers they are also a group of people who does the programming and they make the virus and they are the virus programmers they are uh, people who are considered as breachers also a group of people called as a information warriors whatever name they may have hackers or the crackers or the virus programmers or the breachers or even the information warriors they are the people who violate the computer security now let us discuss a group of people who are called as hackers hackers all of you know who are the hackers they are actually a, a group of person or a person who breaks into computer security uh to get the illegal access to the information stored there that means this group of people illegally get inside somebody else's com- uh, computer without their permission and they get the illegal access to the to the data or information stored there a hacker may not cause any harm to the system or organization but hacking is still illegal or unethical Now, this group of people are uh, basically hired by some kind of organization to safeguard their data or information so it is a group of people they may not cause a harm because they are there to safeguard but still hacking is considered as illegal and unethical it is illegal another group of people they are called as crackers crackers are the people who are also a hacker hacker other name for hackers are actually the crackers they get into somebody's computer illegally and they also get the access of the access of the data that may include 
the password file or the programs and they use it they use it illegally that means they are unauthorized to use but they use it and they might also sell that data or the information to some other people for money i hope you are getting the idea so crackers are those group of people who sell the info who first crack into somebody's computer steal the data password or the programs and they might sell it to other people for money and this group of people are the one who does the uh, damage to the computer uh, uh, to the organization financially that means they incur they they might help the uh, company or the organization to incur a huge financial uh, damage so crackers are the real threat to the society now let us learn about uh, another aspect of computer uh, crime and that is the computer security we need to be very very careful about the computer security and it includes uh, procedures or the techniques that are uh, specially designed to protect the computer from any kind of accident or intentional theft sometimes the data is uh, stolen by somebody intentionally so we need to be uh, careful and this computer security uh, talks about that not only that it also talks about the unauthorized access or the manipulation of the data that is present inside the computer computer security breaches are often viewed as a disaster to the user obviously whenever some data is being stolen it becomes a disaster to the uh, computer user not only to the user to their organization because they cause a very big damage to the individual as well as the, to the organization that damage may include loss of revenue the money valuable data loss productivity loss and many more which may even lead to bankruptcy sometimes there will be no money left in the bank account so it becomes a very very difficult time for the organization as to as well as to the user so computer security breaches are broadly divided into the following categories the first one is the hardware second one is the software third one is the network and fourth one is the natural disaster we'll discuss about all of this one by one the first one is the the first one is the hardware breaches hardware breaches can be both intentional or it can be accidental can be intentional or it can be uh, accidental sometimes it happens accidentally or sometimes it, uh, it's done intentionally by the group of people those who have uh, uh, been discussed already and they are the group of hackers or the crackers uh, it might include the cables or the modems or the phone lines and they are always vulnerable to the uh, security breaches now different kinds of phone lines or the modems they are tapped they are uh, you know hacked and different kinds of data or the hardware inside the um, computer um, system ha- uh, can be uh, negotiated so we need to be careful about that the second group uh, the second category of computer breaches is the software now software breaches includes the computer viruses and the password cracking now we always say that uh, there is a uh, there is a computer virus or the password has been cracked so that comes under the software breach the computer software breaches will include the virus as well as the password cracking third one is the lan or the network we generally call it network as we know it's used to transmit data and information from one computer to another computer they may be trapped by uh the unethical people that is the crackers to access the information about the various aspect of a company uh, whenever we are talking about this kind of uh, network this network can be uh, connected to another network and uh, they are always in a uh, threat to being hacked by the unethical people they are the hackers or the crackers and they will get the access to different kinds of data that is stored in this computer and they might be sold to others 
and the last one is uh, the natural disaster so natural disaster is something which we cannot stop and uh, there are so many different kinds of natural disasters that can take place like the hurricanes or the earthquakes or the flood or the volcanoes that also causes the security breaches so this one is out uh, it's not in our hand but we can still be careful by uh, storing the data having the backup and uh, other things so computer security controls are established and implemented to reduce the security features so what we can do is there are so many security controls uh, which you can do keeping the backup as i've told uh, yeah, putting the firewalls and uh, installing a very strong antivirus software inside the computer that can be used that can be implemented to reduce the security breaches okay so uh, that's all in this session and uh, i'll be seeing you soon in our next video thank you for watching have a good day